Welcome to Istanbul, a city that straddles two continents and blends the old with the new. This metropolis, uniquely nestled between Europe and Asia, is a living testament to the mingling of cultures, the evolution of societies, and the passage of time. Picture a place where the rhythm of modern life beats in harmony with the echo of ancient civilizations. That's Istanbul for you. It's a city that not only geographically bridges two continents but also beautifully marries diverse cultures and histories. It's a city where every cobblestone, every wall, every corner has a tale to tell. Istanbul's story begins in the distant past, dating back to the 7th century BC. From then on it has been a city of many names and many faces. It was Byzantium under the Greeks, Constantinople under the Romans, and finally Istanbul under the Ottomans. Each era, each culture, each civilization has left its indelible mark on the city, contributing to the rich tapestry that is Istanbul's history. This city, once the capital of three successive empires, is steeped in a history that is as colorful as it is profound. It's a place where East meets West, where the past meets the present, and where tradition meets innovation. The result is a vibrant blend of architecture, cuisine, and culture that can only be described as uniquely Istanbul. From the resounding call to prayer that floats over the city at dawn to the bustling energy of the Grand Bazaar, from the majestic silhouette of the Blue Mosque against the evening sky to the charming tea gardens tucked away in quiet corners, Istanbul is a city that engages all your senses and invites you to lose yourself in its enchanting rhythm. So, buckle up because we're about to take a journey through time, through cultures, and through the heart of a city that's as multifaceted as it is mesmerizing. Prepare to be amazed as we uncover the top 5 must-visit places in this incredible city. Starting our countdown at number 5 is the Grand Bazaar, one of the oldest and largest covered markets in the world. Steeped in history, the Grand Bazaar in Istanbul is no ordinary marketplace. It is a vibrant, bustling labyrinth of over 4,000 shops sprawled across 61 covered streets. In the 15th century, Sultan Mehmet the Conqueror built the core of this vast complex. Over centuries it expanded, with various sultans adding their own touches, resulting in a mosaic of architectural styles. Strolling down its bustling corridors you'll be greeted by a symphony of sounds, a medley of colors and an array of tantalizing smells. From the clinking of Turkish tea glasses to the murmur of countless conversations, from the vibrant hues of handmade carpets to the glinting gold jewelry, and from the aroma of freshly ground spices to the scent of traditional Turkish delight, the Grand Bazaar is a whirlwind of sensory delights. The variety of goods on offer is staggering. Here you'll find everything from traditional ceramics, colorful lanterns and intricate textiles to precious antiques and potent spices. It's a treasure trove for shoppers, a paradise for souvenir hunters, and a dream come true for the curious explorer. The Grand Bazaar is also a place where the art of haggling is alive and well. It's a traditional dance of negotiation, a back-and-forth exchange that's as much a part of the shopping experience as the purchase itself. So, don't shy away from a little friendly bargaining, and while you're there, don't forget to sample some of the local delicacies. There's nothing quite like sipping on a steaming cup of Turkish tea or biting into a piece of sweet, sticky baklava while you rest your feet and soak in the atmosphere. The Grand Bazaar is not just a marketplace, it's a vibrant tapestry of Turkish culture and a living testament to Istanbul's rich history. It's a place where East meets West, where tradition meets innovation, and where every turn promises a new discovery. The Grand Bazaar is not just a marketplace, it's an experience that engages all your senses. At number 4, we have the iconic Blue Mosque, a masterpiece of Ottoman architecture. This majestic edifice, also known as Sultan Ahmed Mosque, is a spectacle of history and a marvel of architectural grandeur. Built at the dawn of the 17th century, during the rule of Sultan Ahmed I, the Blue Mosque has withstood the test of time, standing as a symbol of Istanbul's rich past. Its construction took seven long years, a testament to the intricate craftsmanship and painstaking attention to detail that went into its creation. One cannot talk about the Blue Mosque without marveling at its unique design. With its cascading domes and six slender minarets piercing the Istanbul skyline, the mosque is a beautiful fusion of traditional Islamic architecture and Byzantine elements. The central dome, towering at 43 meters, is supported by four colossal pillars, known as the elephant feet, an engineering feat in itself. But what truly sets the Blue Mosque apart, and gives it its name, are the over 20,000 hand-painted blue tiles adorning its interior. These exquisite tiles produced in Iznik, 
a town renowned for its pottery, depict various tulip designs and patterns, a flower deeply associated with Turkish culture. The blue hue of the tiles, coupled with the light streaming in from over 200 windows, creates an ethereal glow within the structure, a sight that leaves visitors in awe. Inside, the mosque continues to impress with its lavish decoration. The upper levels are dominated by blue paint, while the lower levels are adorned with more than 50 different tulip designs. The mosque's grand chandelier hanging from the central dome holds hundreds of bulbs that provide a soft, warm light, enhancing the serene atmosphere. The Blue Mosque is more than just a place of worship. It's a living piece of history, an architectural wonder, and a symbol of Istanbul's rich cultural heritage. It stands as a testament to the artistic and architectural prowess of the Ottoman Empire, a time when Istanbul was the heart of a thriving civilization. The Blue Mosque is a testament to Istanbul's rich architectural heritage. Taking the third spot is the Top Kapi Palace, a symbol of the opulence of the Ottoman Empire. Gloriously standing on the Seraglio Point, the Top Kapi Palace is a grand testament to the splendid era of the Ottoman Sultans. Constructed in the 15th century, the palace served as the main residence and administrative headquarters of the Ottoman royals for nearly four centuries. It's a rich tapestry of history, laced with stories of sultans, courtesans, and intrigues. Imagine walking through the grand courtyards, each one more impressive than the last, leading you to the heart of the palace. The luxurious halls, adorned with intricate iznik tiles and gold leaf embellishments, whisper tales of royal banquets and diplomatic meetings that once took place within these walls. The palace's treasury holds a fascinating collection of precious gems, relics, and imperial artifacts, reflecting the immense wealth of the Ottoman Empire. But the Topkapi Palace is not all about grandeur and luxury. It also offers moments of tranquility, and breathtaking natural beauty. From the palace's terraces you are treated to stunning views of the Bosphorus, the strait that divides Europe and Asia. It's a sight that has captivated visitors for centuries, offering a unique perspective on Istanbul's strategic and symbolic significance. Indeed, a visit to the Topkapi Palace is like stepping back in time. It's an immersive journey into the opulent world of the Ottoman Sultans, filled with history, culture, and unparalleled beauty. The Top Copy Palace is a window into the lavish lifestyle of the Ottoman Sultans. Our number two spot takes us underground to the Basilica Cistern, Istanbul's largest ancient cistern. Descend below the bustling city streets, and you'll find yourself in a subterranean world that echoes with history. The Basilica Cistern, also known as the Sunken Palace, is a marvel of ancient engineering and architectural prowess. Constructed in the 6th century during the reign of Byzantine Emperor Justinian I, this vast underground water storage system was designed to sustain the Great Palace of Constantinople and its surroundings. The cistern is a testament to the ingenuity of the ancient Byzantines, with its 336 marble columns arranged in 12 rows, each standing over 26 feet high. The columns salvaged from ruined temples exhibit a variety of classical styles, adding to the cistern's eclectic charm. But it's not just the grandeur of the architecture that makes the Basilica Cistern remarkable. The dimly lit cavern, filled with the steady drip 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 of water, creates an atmosphere of eerie beauty. It's like stepping into another world, a world that whispers tales of emperors and empires long gone. Adding to the sense of mystery are two Medusa heads, inexplicably turned sideways and upside down at the base of two columns. Why were they placed there? That remains one of the many unanswered questions that shroud the cistern. The Basilica Cistern is a hidden gem that takes you on a journey back in time. And finally at number one, we have the Hagia Sophia, a monument that has stood the test of time. This majestic structure with its soaring dome and intricate mosaics, tells a tale of two great empires. Built in the 6th century as a church by the Byzantine Emperor Justinian, it was later converted into a mosque by the Ottoman Turks, and now serves as a museum, embodying Istanbul's rich multicultural heritage. The Hagia Sophia is an architectural marvel. Its dome, stretching over a hundred feet across, was an engineering feat of its time. The interior is adorned with intricate mosaics and calligraphy, a testament to the artistic prowess of its creators. But perhaps what makes Hagia Sophia truly unique is its symbolic significance. It stands as a testament to Istanbul's history, a city where East meets West, a city that has been the capital of two influential empires. 
The Hagia Sophia is a must-visit for anyone traveling to Istanbul, a city where history and culture come alive.